Hello everybody, welcome to another class of Science Wednesday. So, we are now talking about the coronavirus. We already knew what the virus is itself. خب چی چیز را از قبل می دانیم کروناویروس دارای آر این ای است و دارای پوشش است که از چربی ها ساخته شده و می تواند افراد و برق حیوانات را آلوده کند و می تواند از طریق قطرات یا بزاق دهان منتقل شود و روی سطوح زنده بماند But now let's move to uh, the disease it can produce the COVID-19 So, Elska, what do you think if, uh, for the sake of science, we infect ourselves to see how the, the disease goes and how it affects our bodies? امروز می خواهیم در مورد کوید 19 بیماری ناشی از کرونا یا بیماری ناشی از ویروس کرونا بیا موزید. خب ما می خواهیم آلوده شویم و ببینیم که چی اتفاق می افتد. Okay. During the incubation time, the virus starts multiplying, but still there are no symptoms and you feel okay. در تای زمان جوجکشی ویروس شروع به تولید مثل می کند، اما هیچ علامتی از خود نشان نمی دهند. During the prodromal, the first symptoms appear. That can be cough, a lack of smell, and fever. علائم ظاهر می شود، آنها می تواند سرفه، تب و از دست دادن حس بویایی باشد. The disease reaches its peak and the patient feels very sick. علائم تقلیل می رود و فرد بهبود می یابد. Finally the symptoms go down and the person recovers. علائم بدتر می شود و بیمار احساس بیماری شدید می کند. So how did you feel? What? Well, it was a strange couple of weeks. I didn't feel actually anything. Really? No, oh, I, f- I felt quite bad. Well, I didn't. I didn't develop any symptoms. I didn't have cough. I didn't have fever. Are you sure you got it? I mean, we scrubbed the virus in our face. Yeah, I, I think we got it. it. And actually, there are some people don't develop any symptoms while they are sick. بعضی از افراد علائم را ایجاد نمی کند. مانند این اتفاق که برای خورم افتاده است، این خطرناک است. زیرا مردم می تواند بدون اطلاع از آن بیمار شوند و سایر افراد رو نیز آلوده کنند زیرا اقدامات ایمنی انجام نمی دهیم چرا برخی از افراد علائم شدید ایجاد می کند؟ The immune system protects us from intruders The response of the immune system causes inflammation in some cells This inflammation can be dangerous if it affects too many cells So it is important that the system finds a balance and is able to inflammate only the minimum amount of cells that it needs to get rid of the virus. In COVID-19, if the immune system overreacts, large areas of the lung can get inflammated, causing a pneumonia. These cases can get very serious and lead to severe consequences, including death. System بدن از ما محافظت می کند اما اقدامات آن به برخ سلول ها آسیب می رساند اگر بیش از حد به سلول ها آسیب وارد کند و به آنها آسیب برساند می تواند مشکلات جدی ایجاد کند در صورت کوید 19 یا ویروس کرونا واکنش بیش از حد سیستم ایمنی بدن می تواند به ریه ها آسیب برساند ذات ریه و حتی مرگ ایجاد کند Wow, then actually the immune system of these people works too much? Yes, in, in the case of uh, Corona, actually this is what makes people most sick. Your own immune system overreacting to it. So what happens is that, especially with people, for example older people, we know that they get it more than mm-hmm, younger, like younger people. And this, this happens because some of the, the cells of their immune system, the ones that communicate, to the other cells, they don't really have a lot of the communication cells. So basically, the immune system just goes wild and there's not a lot of communication and therefore it rea- overreacts. It does too much. What is the problem with the COVID-19 disease? The virus of Corona is a disease of the virus of the virus of the virus of the virus of the بعضی از افراد هیچ علائمی ندارند. 
اگر سیستم امینی بیش از حد واکنش نشان دهد می تواند همچنان خطرناک باشد Bye-bye. Right, so